In this video, I'm going to show you how to create product variants by importing an Excel file and also update existing variants and product groups using a spreadsheet. Here's the product I want to import. It's eight variations of a product group called Climbing Trousers. Each variation within the group is given its own SKU. The columns marked in green are those that are required to create a new product. I've added some extra columns in black and then I've highlighted the product option columns in orange. The colour doesn't matter when you import the file, it's simply so that you can see which ones I'm talking about. And then finally we've got a column that holds the product type temporarily because we can't actually import the product type via a spreadsheet. New products created by spreadsheet are always assigned the default product type and for that reason it's important to set all of your product options as being available for the default product type. The first thing you need to do is create the product options that you need from setup, products and inventory, options. You don't actually need to create the values in BrightPearl because they can automatically be created when you import the spreadsheet. You then need to add a custom field to temporarily hold the product type and then create a data map which you do from data slash import import products. Here's one I've created earlier called create new in the product type trousers that's got the columns that we saw in our spreadsheet. First of all we're going to import the file without importing the actual products themselves to test the data and to create the missing option values. I'm not going to skip items using match column A, I'm going to create new ones. I do want to create missing option values. I do want to create missing brands and missing categories. And then finally, just import the file. That loads the file, checks the data and creates any missing option values. And here you can see we've got 30, 32, 34 and 36 as waist sizes and the colour terracotta that weren't previously in the system. Otherwise there are no problems with the file so we're ready to import. Tick import values, untick skip items, choose your file and then upload. The green message says we've had eight new products created. So let's do a product search for trousers where we can see all eight of the climbing trousers we've just imported. Going to the Edit Variants screen, you can see the sizes and colours, and the SKUs. The position of each option on the grid, in other words whether it's a row or a column, is determined by BrightPearl's database. It's not something you can change upon import. You can change the position of these later however, and there's a separate video in this product variant series that shows you how to do that. The last thing we need to do is update these imported products so they've got a product type of trousers. We imported the value trousers into a custom field, which means we can simply filter the product list by that custom field, type contains trousers, find all the products, and then batch update. So let's choose to set the product type to trousers. Next what we're going to do is update existing products that are not yet in a product group to bring them into a product group by giving them the same name and then we're going to assign options to them. So we've got a couple of hiking trousers here in large and small. I've got a spreadsheet with the same product SKUs that's going to bring these into the same product group and assign the options. So we're going to rename both of these items to simply hiking trousers and then I've added large and small into the size column. You can also see here that there are other option columns, but these are empty, that's fine. We'll go to our data import screen, click to import values, untick skip items, and importantly click to update only, otherwise it'll try and create new products. Find our file, and import. We can see that two products are updated, so next time I search for hiking, we can see that the name has been updated, and then they've been given options of large and small. That's put them into the same product group, which means I can use the Edit Variants screen. If you want to import lots of different product types with different options in the same file, that's fine. And what we've got here is a couple of trousers on the top row and then some boxes on the subsequent rows. When these product groups are created, the relevant populated option columns will be assigned to that product group. So only size will be given to trousers and only height and length will be given to these boxes. Make sure that all the combinations of options for any given product group, in other words where they've all got the same product name, are unique. So here for example we've got large red occurring twice 
for the same product group, which is invalid data, and the import will complain at you. So what you need to do is make sure that all of these are completely unique and define actual inventory items. If you have product options such as this, with cable or without cable, make sure that every value for this product group is populated. So even though these two variants don't have a cable, you can't leave it blank. You actually have to define a value in here so that the full grid of options is populated for every product group. As with all imports into Brightpile, make sure you work with sensible data sizes so that it's much easier to find out where you've gone wrong if there's a problem. So in this video we learned how to create products with variants using a spreadsheet. We then batch updated the product type because all imported products are of the default product type. And then finally we used a spreadsheet to update existing products.